So my last Dremel CNC project was about it was a, it was about a DIY wooden Bluetooth speaker, and that was about three about three months ago. That I made this project, and since then I really didn't use my Dremel CNC at all, and I didn't upgrade this machine also at all. So today is the day. I will make a very simple update to Dremel CNC, but also any other CNC that you want to use it with. And that will be a small computer based on Raspberry Pi, so that I will be able to control my machine through this computer and not my laptop, because there is a lot of dust uh, and it's not really healthy for your computer. So why not use something cheap like Raspberry Pi? And also I will add some custom buttons, so it will be easier to control the CNC with this DIY computer, let's say than my laptop. So that's what I'm going to make in this video, but before we start, a quick update for all of you complaining in the comments, where is Indymule? Here I have the ball screws for this project. Here are big aluminum profiles that are maybe a little bit too big, but that's to make sure that machine will be really rigid and we'll also have a bigger working area thanks to bigger profiles. And here I have the linear rails. I also have some small little things that are somewhere I don't really know where and for all of those asking why am I making those lame stupid videos instead of working on indie mill because I want to that's my channel and I want to do something like this here so I will do something like this here sorry so here is what I will use for this project here is the Raspberry Pi I already have the Raspbian Universal G code sender and Retro Pi on the Raspberry Pi, I'm not going to show you how to install the Raspbian and everything else. I will put links in the description because the explanation is pretty clear and I'm really not that experienced with Linux to explain you how everything works and how to do it properly. I just follow the instructions. If you have any questions, of course, you can ask in the comments. And here is the 7 inch touch display uh, that I will use. I just have to draw how I want this to look like and I have to draw the position of each button. I will have probably like uh, move X, Y and Z axis, home, start and stop something like this just few simple buttons but it will definitely help a lot uh, with using the CNC machine I just finished designing the case, it's basically ready, but before I will go to the workshop I want to quickly show you where to go and what you need to do in order to get everything working on the Raspberry Pi. So first thing you need to do, you need to go to the raspberrypi.org and download the Raspbian and then you need to burn the image of the operating system, that's how it is called, on the SD card and I use the Balena Etcher software, it's really simple to use of course, it's free, you can just download the software and burn the image of the Raspbian on the SD card. Then we need retro game and you can also find a really nice instruction on how to install it and how to configure the retro game on the Adafruit website, link is also in the description. And then we need to configure it with the config file that's also very very simple. And the last thing, the universal Gcode sender, I will put a link to the GitHub. And you also have a really nice instruction on how to install this, especially on the Raspberry Pi, because there is some stuff that you also have to install additionally in order to get this thing working. Together with the retro game and Raspbian, you can probably do it in an hour, I think, because it takes some time to burn the image of the operating system on the SD card. And now let's go to the workshop. It's already February and here we are, the first project, workshop project in 2020. Don't blame me, blame my university. I'm very often here in the workshop, like a few times a week I'm working a lot with the laser cutter recently, uh, but not for YouTube, so that's why you don't see it. Uh, but let's get back to the project. Here I have the plywood, that's 4mm plywood, I have 5 sheets of that. A4 paper size, so it's quite small. Now I will just prepare everything on my computer, send the job to the laser cutter, click one button, and within 15 minutes the case should be ready. I also have a quite interesting idea on to move something in aluminum. Hopefully it will work out. We'll see.
is a quick explanation on what I did with the connection here. As you can see, the green wire is connected to only single connector on each button and that's the common ground. With this red cable, just this cable, because those are different, uh, it will be connected to the GND pin on the Raspberry Pi, to the GPIO, and all of those red connectors, or cables actually right here, will be connected to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi, but to standard normal GPIO pins. Here I have the schematic. You can only connect the buttons, it doesn't really matter which pin exactly, but you only can connect those to yellow and orange pins. Of course the black and red are 5 volts and G and D. So we tried to cut something on a table saw with my dad and it was just a little bit too big and we blew the fuses and fuses right here are extremely old and you have to replace them, you can't just press a button to turn that back on. Uh, so I can't finish the project right now, uh, I just connected a few buttons, but not all of them, I glued the case partially and I will come back to finish it. I don't even know when, because I don't know when electricity will be back. And I'm back, you know what they say, new day, new possibilities, new fuses. So what I should do now? Oh yeah, I have to keep connecting buttons to the Raspberry Pi. I turned on the Raspberry Pi and it's working properly, I also connected that to the Dremel CNC and it also works just fine without any problems. As you can see I can already... Not sure if you can see that, but I can already move the x-axis of Dremel CNC, of course all the axes, with the keyboard. So right now I have to set up the retro game and also the universal G-code sender in order to control the machine through those custom buttons. And to do so, firstly, you need to set up the retro game so that these buttons, every button will act as a normal keyboard switch. So for example, if I press this green button, uh, it will act, the Raspberry Pi will act as I would press the plus on the keyboard. And then in Universal G-Code Center, you have to set up a proper shortcuts. So for example, uh, I will set that to move the x-axis, let's say, you have to press the plus button on the keyboard or press this button right here and that way you will be able to move the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, home the machine, turn on the z-probe, start milling, stop milling, increase or decrease the uh, feed rate. It's very simple, so no worries. You have shortcuts on Linux just like you have on Windows or MacOS. It's pretty simple to set up. Uh, also, all the links in the description will help you. I'm not going in depth, but I will show you just a little bit of how it works. It is working on the first try pretty well, which is really surprising and unlikely to happen because most of my projects don't work on the first try and on the second try and sometimes they don't work at all and I can't even publish a video that I have been shooting for such a long time but this one does and it's really nice because I can already control the CNC machine that's pretty nice and now I will mill something out of aluminum as I promised but what's that? I'm not going to tell you you will see once it's ready
That was actually a really smooth mating process, something that does not really happen that often and that's probably because I avoided the counter cut by cutting this piece of aluminum with a hand saw and that was a really nice idea, of course here is my surname, first part of the surname and that's the gift for my dad so that he can brand stuff that he makes out of wood or leather but I don't have anything to heat it up so I wouldn't show you how it works and the result of this project, the Raspberry Pi based controller for a Dremel CNC or actually any CNC you want this is just amazing, look how simple it is just few pieces of plywood, Raspberry Pi the screen, few buttons, exactly 12 in my case and you have a really nice addition to a CNC machine you can easily control it with these buttons and you don't have to use your computer it's, it's just a great solution. Of course I know you have the openings here so it's not completely sealed and dust can get inside but I don't really care Raspberry Pi is eventually easy to replace, I mean it's inexpensive. I don't think that wood dust would do a lot to a Raspberry Pi. So the result of this project is amazing, I really encourage all of you uh, to build something like this because no worries, it's very simple, uh, there is no basically programming, you just need to install a few programs and configure that, everything is well explained. You can also ask in Facebook group of Dremel CNC builders, there is always someone that wants to help. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if so don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, keep making, bye!